Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at examples of artificial intelligence in action in the insurance industry. Let's start with claims processing. Whenever you have to log a claim, you have to enter the details of the claim and details of your policy either in an online form or in a physical document. This is very much required to start the claims process. However, many customers feel that the claim form is very con confusing and there is huge opportunity to simplify the whole process. This is where artificial intelligence can really help in pulling relevant information necessary to log a claim right at the stage of uh, claim logging itself. Once claim is logged in, additional activities kick in like asking for additional information or carrying out an inspection and finally either a reject of the claim or a payout to the customer. So there are a lot of moving parts in the entire process which can delay processing of claims and which can also cause dissatisfaction to the customer. So artificial intelligence is playing a role in simplifying the process and making it easier for the end customers. Okay, the next one is fraud detection. Fraud is big in insurance. The extent of fraud in insurance industry varies anywhere between 5% to 15% depending on the geography and the nature of the claims. When I say nature of claims, I am referring to whether it is a motor claim or a health insurance claim or a fire insurance claim. You know, that's what I meant by type of claim. For people who are not from the insurance industry, these numbers may be surprising. Okay. Yes, the extent of fraud is very high in the insurance industry. If you are able to bring down fraud to that extent, the profitability of organizations will go up. So the, uh, so the necessity to bring down fraud is quite high in the insurance industry. Predominantly and in previous times, Insurance companies have used uh, traditional methods, you know, where checklists or threshold based approaches, right? If a claims value is beyond a certain threshold, you ask for additional details or do some additional verifications. You have a checklist and see whether the claim would fall into category of not requiring verification or those requiring verification. Predominantly, these two are the methods by which fraud was identify. Now AI is available to make this process more comprehensive. AI can identify not just fraud but also identify the key drivers of fraud. Whenever you identify fraud, you can take necessary action immediately. You may reject the claim right away. On the other hand, when you identify key drivers that are contributing to fraud, you can build controls, you can take action, right? You can strengthen your process so that fraud doesn't happen. So that way, through artificial intelligence, your fraud detection efforts can move from preventive to predictive, right? So that is the opportunity of using artificial intelligence in fraud detection area. Just to provide you some additional context, AI based fraud detection efforts have proven its mettle in different industries. I know many insurance companies have began to use AI based systems to proactively identify fraud. Okay, so the next one that we are going to see is cross selling. Insurance industry is one of the best industries to do a lot of cross selling. Once a customer takes up one type of policy, let's say a motor policy, there is huge opportunity to sell, let's say a health insurance, let's say a fire insurance. So the opportunity to cross sell is the highest in insurance industry, in my opinion. However, how do you identify customers who are ripe for cross selling? That is where artificial intelligence can really help. Not just identifying 
but also in managing through the process of cross-selling artificial intelligence systems are very helpful. The next example that we are going to see is a very interesting one and highly futuristic. I say futuristic because AI is currently not used in the underwriting process. However, the opportunity for AI is very high in this area. Underwriting is a very interesting process and a process that is so unique to the insurance industry. Underwriting is the process whereby insurers determine and assign risk to the insured who may be an individual or an organization. Currently, the underwriting team uses the information provided by the customer and whatever information is available with them to determine and assign risk. With the proliferation of social media, there is so much information available on the web about the insured person or the insured organization. All those information could also be used by the underwriting team to assess the more appropriate risk for that individual or the organization. This process of collecting information from the web about the insured is not all that easy. It's a very complex affair and it can't be done manually. If you try to do this manually, it will be highly inefficient and the time taken to do this will be very long, which is why I say that this entire process of collecting information from the web about the insured, comparing it with the information provided by the insured and the organization's internal data is best handled by AI so that a comprehensive assessment on risk can be taken by the uh, underwriting team. This entire process is ripe for AI adoption. A key point I want to highlight is, this can result in more appropriate premiums too, because you have a comprehensive risk assessment of the insured. When I say a more appropriate risk premium, I am talking about possibly a lower premium that should be paid by the insured. When the premium comes down, the number of people, number of entities who will adopt insurance will increase manifold and this is especially true of low income countries. The next one is about partner management. Insurance is highly partner driven and partners often sell competitions products. So it is essential to understand and manage partners better. CRM systems coupled with AI are better suited to handle myriad partners. AI systems are also adept at detecting partner churn, which brings us to churn prediction. Churn is customers leaving an organization and using the services of another organization. In the insurance industry, it is known as persistency. Persistency is about how persistent are customers in paying the premiums month after month or quarter after quarter or year after year, right? Unless customers uh, pay the premiums, uh, the insurance industry can't really exist. So the timeliness of collecting premiums is a very, very important activity. However, in some situations, customers leave one insurance company and use the services of another insurance company. If the insurance company that is losing its customers knew the details of the customers who are likely to leave, that is wealth of information, right? This kind of churn prediction is used extensively in telecom industry also because churn is important in telecom industry and also banking to some extent. In insurance industry also, this process of persistency is an important one and AI systems can predict the customers who are likely to stop paying the premium or likely to delay the premium. And not just that, the drivers of persistency or the lack of persistency can also be determined by AI system. Another interesting area where AI can be applied in the insurance industry 
is in demand planning. Many organizations call this as annual planning exercise. However, planning can be done even for a quarter and for a month. That shows the robustness of planning in your organization. Demand planning or any planning exercise will, in, will involve understanding the trends that are inherent to your business. There are short term trends and long term trends that need to be analyzed so that your planning exercise is effective. A key metric associated with planning is forecast accuracy. It measures the difference between what is planned and what actually happens. A good forecast accuracy shows the robustness of demand planning. Why forecast accuracy is important? Because the planning you do has implications both in the upstream and downstream area like technical infrastructure and even headcount planning. Typically organizations use excel based tools to do this planning. However, the opportunity for AI to make a difference in this interesting area is very very high. Many other industries are using AI to drive improvements in demand planning. So I am sure that insurance industry can also adopt the best practices in AI to improve its planning efforts. So these are the areas where AI is currently applied in the insurance industry and where there is potential to apply AI. From my experience, it is in claims processing and fraud detection that AI is used in many insurance companies. Other areas, AI is not currently used or the usage of AI is very, very limited. So the opportunity for the insurance industry to embrace AI is very high.